Hi, it's me again. And there's going to be another direct upload. Now some of you are probably getting sick with direct uploads. Talking about nonsense and not being a uh, demonstration of a uh, vintage recorder. But, doing it anyway because I feel like it. Sometimes I just like to, you know, just do a direct upload or m making random stuff for fun. So, um... We got a light turned on now. <clears throat> I think what I might do is I might uh, construct a simple preamp, perhaps, on this video if it can be done under, you know, 15 minutes. I don't know. Point is, is um, let me take these headphones off real quick. Point is, is um, you hear all that hiss in the video. I got this thing almost all the way up a little mixer and um this mixer that's a line in for that mic because all the microphone inputs on it are XLR the other inputs are screws to screw wires on which I believe those are all like line and I don't have any XLR plugs so I can't plug in an XLR into the mi actual microphone and put part so I'm just putting it in like a line part, putting the level up, but then there's a lot of hiss. So, um, because of the amp, the audio. So, um, I'd like to build me a little preamplifier. And I'm thinking I'm going to be wanting to use some vintage germanium transistors in it for fun. It's going to be a, just a breadboard project I'd like to do. And you might even get a sneak peek of this thing here. I will do a full-blown presentation of it sometime, but it is the Iowa uh, TP719S reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Um, the only problem it had was the record place, which was really dirty. It was thought to have bad capacitors by um, Amberola 1B, who sent it to me. It turned out all it was was a record place, which was dirty and needed spraying with WD-40. Did a spray of it with WD-40, and it's good now. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I need to move this eel, shortened for reel to reel, and, you know, uh, get out my board and whatnot, or get out a paper and I'll try drawing a circuit here, and I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can uh, draw up my own circuit, somewhat of my own circuit. I mean, it'll have, you know, there's a circuit similar on a website and whatnot, but it'll be similar, you know, things like that. Let's see what I can do here. Turns out the polarity on the Iowa is um, tip positive, not tip negative, so it works good with that 12 volt power supply, 12 volt switching power supply, which probably went to some kind of modern device, maybe a laptop or something. Take a look around my room, you know. Wow. While we're at it, you know. Zoom down, you Yes, yes, there's an Nintendo game for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, today I'll be hanging out with my friends. So, perhaps in later videos today, you might be able to see my friend Evan, my friend Daniel, perhaps my friend Ethan. Um, I kind of want to uh, make a joint presentation with them in, in, in such that I have a real to real presentation, perhaps, about Iowa that was right here, and have them talk about it on there. Although, they're not, they're not tape recorder enthusiasts, but maybe, like, if I could direct them what to say, it could be like a video with, like, like they're describing it and stuff because that would just like be fun, you know? It would be really neat. I have some other videos that show uh, Ethan, and I have a video, I think I have an old video that might show Danny Keen, my friend Daniel. Um, and now, as far as time is concerned, I don't know. Um, 
Let's see. I mean, I know there was a, a circus design off the internet that I remember. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to change the polarity around and use positive ground so that I can use a PNP transistor. So, because I would like to use blocking the screen, not crazy. This old transistor here, this is isn't it amazing? It's very old, it's a, it's 2N1309, made by Texas Instruments. Probably like from the 1960s or something. It's just so cool, you know? I'm not... At least if I build this one circuit that I got off the internet and I remember it because it's so dang simple. And give me a 100k. Um, I know this video sucks. Um, because it's like so not well done. I need two ten k brown black um orange. Doesn't matter with the watch. Get some bigger capacitors and look really gonna call it. Um, I'll use two microphones. I'll use two microphones. And some wires. I'll be showing a power supply. I haven't shown it to the tube. You can't see it much. It's right there. It's a Ketco. It's only a single output, but uh, MSP 20-5M. 0 to 20 volts and 0 to 5 amps. And it's got current limiting and voltage, and it's got turn turn clock, which is really nice. You can't even hear what I'm saying. I'm, I apologize for the audio. It was the quietest you ever heard for the majority of the video. I mean, I'm sure you could have, you probably heard it. It was just like so faint, you know. I mean, I'm sure it's on there just barely. Um, so I'm going to use positive ground. So I'm going to make all those. Those positive red marks into the ground. So I don't want to remember that it was grounded. Face collector. Collector to base. This resistor. Brown black yellow. And um uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Hopefully this will work. Put together in very short time. I'm gonna set this for nine volts. Current limited to 100 milliamps, and I'm gonna run it on nine volts. And then I'm gonna get my little, little wires here. Okay. Hopefully I don't blow anything. Okay. I'm going to use a condenser. Dang it, where's the mics? I'm almost out of time. There's the mics. Condenser mic. And it goes... Hopefully the mic's not in backwards. Um, and then put the output. Oh, wow. Almost out of time. Okay, almost out of time. Testing, testing, testing. Now, we should be picking up a lot better with sound. Okay, hello there. The preamplifier is working. How about that? Now, we're having connection issues. No, it's just super sensitive. It's like ultra. Yeah, the transistor. Oh, wow. The tra oh, wow. Okay, wow there. Wow. The transistor I'm using is a Texas Instruments 2N1309 germanium PMP transistor. And it's, a, it's the original schematic I got from Tony Van Roon's website. Although I'm using. Uh, 10 microfarad caps for hopefully better bass response and of course using a PNP transistor so the uh, polarity is switched around from normal. I know it's very dark. We don't have much time left but I can turn this light on. Oh, that's better I guess. Uh, it's still not the best. It's still not that bright. I mean it's bright on reality but the camera just takes it down too far. I'm amazed though, this thing is very sensitive. It's taking only about 10 milliamps um, of current. Um, maybe even less. No, it's about 10 milliamps. <clears throat> so, um, it's working very nicely. Working beautifully. As a matter of fact, um, if I spoke up close to the closer to the microphone, it's probably going to overdrive, or at least go. It apparently is overdriving on the uh, video thing, although it's not the most accurate meter in the world on the direct uploader. The video is about to be done, so bye.